Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today we're doing a painting. We're doing a big painting. We're doing the painting. This is a two foot by three foot level three canvas. And the inspiration for this, because this painting's not for me, it's for someone else. The inspiration is, it's a poster, a framed poster from NFL's Super Bowl's 50th anniversary. So I had to pull colors from the poster. So we're gonna be using black as our swipe color. We have 14 other colors. I've got about 105 grams of mixed colors, except for one. I got closer to about 90 on that one, but that's only because there wasn't enough paint in the tube and I didn't want as much of that one anyway. So our first color is kind of like a navy. Now this is primary blue with a little bit of black added to it. That's all this is. That's a nice football color, right? I think it is. I have already put some black paint on the edges of the canvas. Yeah, this isn't, this is a little lighter than navy. Nice color. I like it. So I've got about an extra 200 grams of paint from the last time I did this size canvas, which was only three days ago. It had dried enough that I could move it onto a drying rack. So this one gets to take its place. Looks like there's something in there. A little bit of black that wasn't mixed up. Oh well, that is okay. Now, it's figuring out which colors to put down first. It is so hard. This is dioxazine purple. And when you think about it, yeah, purple. Teams have the color purple. I've got more than one purple. Let you in on a little secret on that. You'll see them. I've got all my paint tubes actually lined up on the ground so I can reference them for their names because I'm not gonna remember all of the names. My memory is not that good. Do a little blob of dioxazine purple here. And I'm getting all the paint, even though I've got an extra 200 grams, well, a bit more than 200 actually. More than 200 extra grams of paint. I barely had enough on the last one and I think I had actually tipped a little bit too much off. So I was like, well, we better have extra. Okay. Our next color, let me check, Pyrol, Pyrol Red. Now this one I have to keep away from, I have a light purple. So this one has to stay away from it. They do not look nice together. And this red is very dominant. So on the little tester piece that I did, that little 9x12, I had this color, and if you remember, it was just crazy how much red was on there. And red is a popular football color, I know. Ah, we'll do the best right here. black and darken it up. Always a little bit left in the bottom. I can see it. I want to get it. Okay, three colors done. Next color. No, I, yeah, I didn't lie. The next color is going to be deep violet. So another dark purple. This has to be a dark but bright painting. So I've taken a few shades of blues and purples. And you know I love purple, so any excuse to use it. There. I am gonna be layering colors on top of colors, don't you worry. 
just figuring out do I want to make one a bit bigger or make another small one we'll make another small one so many choices the more colors the more choices It's easy to pick the colors because again I was referencing a poster so it's like oh I need a lighter green I need a darker green I really hope this uh, works because this is a lot of paint <laughs> okay we're gonna do this blue which is ultramarine look at this so see we're getting to the bright colors this is bright like the red pop do the rest right there or how about right there that seemed to make up my mind sorry if I'm in frame blocking the view quite a distance to lean over I'm trying to speak loud so you can hear me. I don't have any type of microphone on. Um, silicone wise, I've added silicone to all the colors. Uh, approximately three drops in each one. The last painting I did, I didn't want as much explosion. So didn't add as much. This time we want explosion, we want fun cells. And I'm bright, but dark. So yes, I've got the lighter colors, as I said. They are going to come out and play. We're getting the darker colors down first. And then We'll be layering on top of some of the colors, lighter colors. So this green is hooker's green. <laughs> I don't know why it is called hooker's green. That seems <laughs> weird. But I'm not the one that named them. These are all Liquid X paints. Liquid X named them. But it's got that darker green. Actually reminds me of grass. You know, need that green. It's football after all. Okay, now we're getting to the lighter colors. This one is Cobalt Blue Hue. Remember I said we're going to do a little bit of layering? That's how we're going to get the fun cells. Do on top, the side. See, it's really close to that one, so you're not going to really see the cells popping through. There, see, I have them close by. That one's almost taken over. That's okay. We're going to be stretching this, doing artsy stuff to it. Colors are all slowly touching, becoming friends. That's good. Hopefully they all play together. The only color I didn't pull in, which you would think with football, is brown. I had a feeling, and who knows if I'm right or not, but I had a feeling the brown would just instantly convince the other colors to muddy together and I would have just this big brown blob of a piece. We didn't want that. All right. This green is light green permanent. I'm 
hear my cats walking around upstairs. One's been trying to break in. They better not break in. I know I'm always saying that. The cats are smart. They know how to break in. We have to use door stoppers. Or a locked door. <laughs> the newest cat doesn't really know how. But he can open sliding doors. To not, um... Not like a door to go outside. Um, you know, in newer homes they have the sliding bathroom doors. When those doors are shut, because we have two, we have one in our main floor bathroom and then one in our walk-in closet. And he knows how to open them as long as they're not locked. Just slides his paw along the edge, kind of jams it in there to open the door a bit and voila, it's open. That one can have a bit more. He looked, he looked a little low. Okay, we've got six colors left, you guys and gals. Okay, our next color is brilliant yellow green. So, you know, I gotta put some on those greens. Oh, I hope the cells, nice dark outer rings. Wicked looking. Because we're going for wicked. And if it doesn't work, I might not put the video up. <laughs> then you'll never know. I'll have to do it again. And we don't want that. else do we want some right in there a little bit more in there sorry if this part's annoying we need all the color. This is how we create cool art. It's one way. Okay, we've got brilliant purple. So this is the one that doesn't look nice next to red. I'm only putting it on the dioxazine purple because the other purple I just don't think they're going to look good together. You can get a bit more. We want some cool cells with that. in here. Start filling up this middle section. So yeah, we'll have areas where there's not a lot of rings within rings. Hopefully I don't torch over torch anywhere. I know we're not even close to that yet. You know this video will be longer than my normal videos. But uh Hopefully you like it. Pouring as fast as I can. Okay, next color. Cadmian orange. So that one you know has gotta go on the red. I did this on the small one. It looked fantastic. Love the cells that we got. here. 
there they kissed. That's what we like. A little bit of orange in there. No, I don't want too much close to that purple. A little bit more there. I don't want to lose all the red. Fill up in here. I try not to get paint all over me before I start. <laughs> I still somehow do it. I've got all the colors on my gloves. I did go out and get myself a painting apron. I figured I should do that. In the last couple pours I've ended up with uh, a little bit of paint on my shirt. Sorry, I'm having a wardrobe wardrobe malfunction, so I had to fix it. Okay, our next blue is Brilliant Blue. Hopefully I haven't said Brilliant Blue already. So it's a softer blue, still a football blue. So let's do, how does that look? Not bad. Those ones aren't bad together. Two colors left after this. Can you believe it? A little bit in there, fill that up. A little bit in there. I think we'll fill the rest up in here. So there's obviously other ways you can put your paint down. You can just kind of ribbon pour it out. Which would not take nearly as long. But I find when you want really identified colors popping through, this seems to be the best way. Okay. Our next, we have a lot of blues. This is light blue permanent. Another color I was seeing in the poster. got a lot of the paint centered <laughs> literally centered but we're gonna be moving it around so they're gonna kind of blend and slide and do their things Where else? Oh. okay you see any areas you think this should go We've got enough left for another puddle. I don't want too much more at the top because I don't want the black and the blue. That will become too much. Go on there. There is gonna be some gorgeous blue cells. I do say so myself. like this uh, popsicle stick, craft stick, whatever you want to call it, is really wobbly. 
Okay, last color. Can you guess what it is? What color is missing? Cadmium yellow. Gotta have yellow. Yellow is such a football color. A little bit there. A little bit there. You can have some. I'm gonna come over and blend with the green. Beautiful. Yeah, I've really centered everything around the center. Oh, silly me. Well, it's going to make for an interesting tilting. So. Press down here. Yellow and black. Not the best mix, not in my eyes. One, it will take away the brightness of the yellow. That's why I only had the one little blob or two up top. Okay, that is all the colors. I'm gonna get these in the garbage. Just so they're out of my way. I gotta wipe my hands. I'm covered in yellow. It dripped somewhere on my tarp. I saw it go down. I found it. Okay, lots of bubbles, but that's okay. We're gonna be torching the heck out of this painting. All right. Gotta be careful because my edges are painted black. They're still wet. So I'm going to tilt down that way first. That's enough of that. Uh, this way. The paint's not running super fast. I did do a two to one mixture. We're just starting to go over. Perfect. Wrinkly sound is just a tarp. Now we're going to go down. I got to pull the painting a little forward. You can do it. Got a char charging cord for my phone in my way. I didn't think this through. Over the edge. Looks like it's gone. I might have to convince it a little bit better, but that's okay for now. here. Now the edge pattern does its own thing. If you've never done a swipe before, don't stress out about the edges. They're supposed to look crazy weird. Oh, I tripped again on my floor. Can't take me anywhere. Don't tell my husband. I just want to fix this corner. Don't get too too far in. And then we only have that area left. I'm 
going to quickly wipe up my mess on the floor. Acrylic paint wipes up pretty easily. Okay, let's get off our last edge. It's getting there. I have to condense. mind that little section there. We're going to move the paint back in the center. Now, do I tilt a little further going up? I don't really want to. So I think that's where we're gonna stay. I'm just gonna check to see if I've got everything straight for you. Cause I was crooked last time and I felt so bad when I edited the video. I was like, oh my. Is that good? Everyone's happy? Everyone's ready for the black. No silicone in the black. Okay, let's do this. I mixed up more swipe color than last time. Probably still should have made up more. Let's use my stick. Use my stick. Open edge there. Perfect. Let's go to go around to the other side. Hot knock stuff over. I want a bigger strip of the dark. That's why I left a bigger strip at the top. Last painting, I think my strip was actually a little bigger than this, but that's okay. Just in behind you. Just letting the paint do its thing. See some bare edges. I'll probably go over the top edge again with black paint, but I'll do that after. You didn't come here to watch edges being painted, did you? No. You came here to see a Super Bowl inspired painting. Well, I think it looks pretty cool. There's a flippin' eye right there. Can you see it? <laughs> I should leave it like this, but I can't. Okay, I'm just getting the edges done quickly. I'm not going to do the bottom edge because I'm going to be pulling paint that way. I'm not going to worry about the top edge. Mm -hmm. Get more paint there. It 
looks weird. Sorry, you can probably barely hear me. Okay. Now, the hard part, the swiping. So as I mentioned in my last video, this was in like a protective sheet in a six by 20 five pack of, 16 by 20 five pack of canvases. Try to get a good grip on it. Okay. Let it all touch. It's all making contact. Yay. A little bit too much contact, but that's okay. Those colors. There is something right there. I don't know what that is. How it got on there. Good thing I had tweezers. Just cleaning the edge, even though I'm going to flip it over. So I have a couple spots that I missed. I will swipe over those with my smaller sheets. Not from the top because it will get too dark. on the bottom. Sliding that over. Okay. Just little swipes. Little baby swipes. Oh, there's some good looking cells popping through. This edge is bothering me just a little bit. Fix it. Now we torch. There's some nice cells popping up. Wow. That purple and orange looks fantastic together. Then it's kind of got some of the red in there and kind of going into the green. I got this little tiny, almost uh, like air bubble pops <laughs> at the very top, but it looks really cool. Oh yeah, we got some more growing there. There, I got one little hair bugging me, getting in my face. I don't know what that little thing is. That looks like a little baby embryo. <laughs> the things you can find. Of course, I'm probably fast forwarding this right now, so you're just <laughs> seeing my fingers pointing and doing weird things. Okay, I'm going to wipe our bottom again. Do that.
Oh, those ones right there are so pretty. Yeah, those are awesome. Okay, we need some more, you guys. We need some more. Let's see if we can get any, any more up top. Because that just looks so cool next to the black. like a little spin top, two of them. <laughs> Not really getting much at the top. Oh, that right there, that is so gorgeous. I know they're bunched up together, but oh, those cells. I got a smattering of them there. Just seeing where else, it's such a big piece. It is so much torching. We need a little bit more right there. And I'm gonna go along the top because a few more did pop up. Those cells are kind of doing their own thing. Okay, we're gonna let these grow. Just seeing what I got for air bubbles. Not bad. Oh, that blue with the yellow and the green. Oh, fantastic. I feel like we need a little bit more, you guys. Or do I wait and kind of let it do its thing? Don't know. Yeah, we need a little bit more in here. I just want to try and get some bigger ones. See a hair. So the black at the top is going to be our negative space. I think we're looking good. So I'm going to pause, let them do its thing for a bit longer, and then decide if we need any more torching. So I'll pause you. So here is the piece all done. Sorry for the glare from the light. We've got some pretty cool looking cells. Let's give you an overview of the whole thing. <laughs> this is my favorite part right in there. That's just beautiful. Love it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Until next time.